All right, new video. Um, this is the first time I've ever done a Sims video. So, and I don't watch a lot of them on YouTube, so this may be completely the same as all of them, or completely different, or somewhere in between. Um, I've never, I've started a lot of legacy challenges in even The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. But I've never really gotten very far with them. I usually get bored after, like, the second generation. Um, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. Maybe it'll hold my interest. And maybe doing a video instead of trying to blog about it will be easier because I just... A lot of the reason I lose interest is because I try to blog it and I hate the editing and all of the... I love writing stories. But I hate having to write it out and wait to play more so that I don't forget what happened the last time. It's complicated. I'm a complicated person, okay? Um, but this is the Stark Legacy. Um, Stark as in Tony Stark, mm -hmm. Iron Man. Because I love the Avengers, so I thought I'd try this. Rags to riches, it seemed fitting. Um, this is Tony's grandfather, Edward. Um, who Tony is named after, Tony Edward Stark. And if you hear me yelling at my cats in a few minutes, they're fighting. So I apologize for any, like, random outbursts. Um, this is Edward. He's very... I tried to keep his clothes period appropriate. Um, let's see. Let's... This is everyday outfit. Formal outfit. Kind of the same. I don't know why I kept it the same. Let's change this up. Right? I know, Edward. I don't know what I'm doing. Ugh. He looks like a maitre d. Maybe that's why I had. <laughs> Oops. Um. Oh, you are totally a white tux person, aren't you? We're going to need pants. Sorry, I'm picky. One of my, one of the things I like the least about this game, I do really enjoy the clothes, but I miss the color wheel. I miss the fact that in The Sims 3, you could just change it to whatever color in the rainbow. I loved that. And you could pick what pattern, if any, you could put on clothes. That is like... That's probably my hugest pet peeve of the whole game, is that you can't design the clothes anymore. That's it. I do really love this game. Um, no, I think we'll stick with the loafers. Uh, okay. Athletic. Looking good, Edward. Too rough! Now I see why you were wearing the hoodie. No one wants to see those skinny arms. Yeah, there we go. Winter! Why is he wearing glasses? The hell?
Yeah, where did your glasses come from? Did I give him glasses originally? Let's not do that. Let's not. Okay. I must have. I don't know. I don't. Whoops. I think the game just randomized it when I pulled him in. I pulled in the saved household, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I've am i played this enough to be comfortable with the controls, but that's about it. So I don't really know how it, when it randomizes stuff. What was party? No. I do like the styled looks you can go through. Yeah, there we go. I know. Looking flashy, Edward. Yeah, do we have a red? Oh, that's better. What about blue? Yeah. See, I have a thing for colors. My Sims have to wear certain colors. I, my favorite color is pink, and I wear pink like everything. And so when I make Sims, I tend to assign them a favorite color, even though the game, in The Sims 4 you can't, in The Sims 3 you could assign them a favorite color. But I always had them wear that color, and so I made so many custom outfits and saved them with you know, favorite colors for, and I'd go, again, you know, the Rainbow Legacy Challenge where you could, each generation had a color that was assigned to them, and I always dressed them up in those colors. Even in The Sims 2, when you couldn't design clothes, they usually had the right color. Alright, swimwear. They wore shorts. I'm trying to think. Edward would have lived in the... Yes, I'm very historically accurate. I am very pedantic. So just don't mind me. You totally need hot pink shorts. Um, okay. I guess that's it. So that's... That's Edward. Eh. Well, we can always change his clothes later. Okay. He is a Renaissance Sim from the knowledge. From knowledge, um, his bonus trait is Quick Learner. Quick learners build all skills a little bit faster. He's a genius because he's a Stark. These sims tend to be focused, can share ideas with other sims, and may become upset if they haven't improved their mental skills for some time. He is a snob. Yeah, I know. These sims can critique work on low-quality items, are bored by low-brow television, and gain confidence around other snob sims. Great. And he's self-assured. They tend to be confident, so that'll, that'll be good for his career. Which, I don't know what he's going to be. Um, okay. And that's it. So that's, that's him right there. Yep, that's a good picture. Alright, and I have already bulldozed this lot. I don't think there was anyone actually living there the first time anyway. Uh, 
Okay, um, and I'm supposed to buy... Huh, wait a second, I've forgotten how to do all of the controls. <laughs> Just by Knight of the Octagon Table suit of armor. I don't remember how to. There we go. The controls are different from The Sims 3. You can change them to The Sims 3 controls, but I actually I switched them back to The Sims 3 controls for a while when I first started playing, and I decided to change the back. I actually like these controls. Um, which I didn't use the camera. I didn't move the camera in The Sims 3 the way that most people do with the mouse. Anyway, I always use the arrows. And you can use the arrows anyway. So I just, I actually like these controls. Um, I don't like that you can't shift the camera up and down to focus on different things. I don't know if you can do that. Now I don't remember what you're supposed to hit. But, let's see. Yeah, random. No, we're going back to... That's not what I want. Okay, well, anyway, place in inventory. And what that does, for one thing, it drops down your household funds to 1,800 simoleons. And it also ups your... Um, which I hadn't thought about this when I started playing it the last time. It ups your bills so that it makes it a little bit more challenging. Okay. Someone remind me how to go back to playing. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. This is going to be a long night. Okay. Um, so this is an empty lot right now. There's nothing here. Um... At least he's happy right now. Um, I need to go back into build mode. Okay, he has got a huge freaking lot. So, it'll be fun. And I tend to group everything. Objects by room. Um, I tend to group everything right up front so that it's really... I, like, cram stuff in right up close so that... He doesn't have to walk very far. He needs a bright green toilet. Cheapo toilet. And as you can see, you do not need walls in The Sims 4 for toilets and other appliances like that. So that's good because walls are expensive. Um, Let's see, toilet, he needs some easy shower. I just, I actually did watch a video recently that talked about you can shower at like the gym, which is true, but I just like having a shower at home because he, they tend to get dirty like really fast and then they get grungy and then they're in an unhappy mood for work and this is the only cheat that I'm gonna have I did start playing this legacy earlier and so I know some of the pitfalls that can happen um, you go around trying to make other money and then you also have a job and so you're low on sleep and it's just it is really challenging so any way that I can make it easier on everybody. Me, Edward, everybody. I don't know, how much is this one? Get, get the color off the screen, thank you. 240, 300, 330. Let's buy a fridge and then we'll see <clears throat> how much money we have left. I 
like the pink fridge. I like pink, okay? Alright, we'll put this over here. And he is going to need a bookshelf, I think. I don't know. I don't want to spend too much money. Um, Alright, we'll get the ugly kid's bed. It's not ugly, but it's just a kid's bed. So that's no fun. Kind of outlining his little domain here for the moment. Um, what did I say? Genius snob and confident. All right. Well, we have six hundred and sixty dollars left, so we'll see what happens. Become confident. Work out or practice speaking in the mirror. Share ideas. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, phone. Oh, this is new. I don't know. Really? How's he, how's he supposed to get a clear? Get that off the screen. Find a job. There we go. This is new. I know the game updated before I started playing it this time, but it was just a big long... Oh, it even has a battery sign. That is cool. I like it. Entertainment. Oh, so everything's in different... Nice. Okay. Find a job. You know what? I need to check his. No, not his career. Um... Professorial can write helpful manuals about any skill that we're well versed in. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what job he takes. So let's just stop that. Let's just go with the highest. No. Let's go with the highest paying job. Yeah, I know. It's not a computer. I know. Shut up. Da, da, da. Um. 26 dollars an hour for an astronaut that would probably require a computer which you can go to the library for the computer but traveling just I don't know, it's just a hassle it's not as much a hassle in this one even as it was and it wasn't much of a hassle in the sims 3 but just I just like doing everything from home I'm a loner. I do everything from home anyway, so. No, let's not do entertainment. I should just make him a businessman. <laughs> or tech guru. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm reading. <laughs> I'm reading the different things. Um, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's not bad. 
You'll be a secret agent in the First World War. That's good. Live life unnoticed as a covert operative. From infiltrating enemy headquarters to the art of interrogation, the more you learn, the less you'll be known. I'm sorry, this just... For some reason, this reminds me of Archer. Oh, God. Maybe it's the picture. Okay. <laughs> and you know Archer would have set that fire himself. Um. Oh, random pop culture. Ideal mood focused. Browse intelligence. How do you browse intelligence? Crap. Stop. Um, how do you browse intelligence? Picked the wrong career, because I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I know that. Going to work and completing the daily task are the best ways to improve career performance. And I'm not sure if you have to perform the daily task. It just makes moving up in the career go faster. We're not necessarily going to focus on his career, though. We're going to focus on making money. Do you have any money or... Alright, I guess not. Um... And I like that you can minimize most of the UI, but I like having the needs open just to see where we are. I guess I can close it. Um, all right, there's not much to do right now. It's Friday at 10.22 p.m. So, because I've played other games, and so that's where my last game ended. Um, dig. Do it. Let's see, how do you focus on it? There we go. I do have a few mods in the game. So technically, I'm already disqualified for this because one of them is um, it makes things break like 30% less easily. Because everything fucking breaks like every time you use it. And I'm sorry, I'm going to probably end up cussing a lot. I Half the time I don't even notice when I do it. So... This is a not safe for work video. Um, but I have they break slightly less easily, which he has really cheap appliances right now, so they're still going to break all the time. Um, and what was the other mod that I thought time moves more slowly? And I don't remember now how much more slowly. I just like the game to be more realistic. Um, I think more it just takes longer for everything. Like, I don't know. Um, but those are two mods that definitely are no-nos for the game. Um, and also, there was one other one. Oh, Technically, the other one isn't really wouldn't disqualify me from playing the legacy from playing the challenge, but um, the walkbys and the visitors they come constantly, and they will come to your door and just stand there for like four or five hours. And I just don't always like to interact with people, very much like my real life. So I just got rid of I got a mod that makes them go away after 20 minutes if no one answers the door which ironically I don't even know where the front of the house is he does not have a door and yet still they come over and just stand there by the mailbox for freaking ever all right let's see what else can we find harvest Ooh, fireflies <laughs> random Alright, so that is where we are. Yay! That is where we are right now. And I'm going to stop the video before it gets too long. And then I will start it up again later.